Now, some people will let the winter blues get them down. Others, they'll just find other ways to get that boat out of storage and get it out there and have a good time with their friends and family. Now, I've never personally thought of a boat as being much of a utilitarian vehicle outside of being on the water, but here recently, I've seen more and more videos of people doing things with boats and taking them places I never thought they could go. Now many of us have always thought of cars as being that ultimate utilitarian vehicle being able to get us to locations around the world that really weren't accessible. Here's the car with the windshield wipers on. Don't even ask. Yes, as can be seen in these images here, cars can get you to a lot of different locations, but boats are also extremely capable of taking you to areas you'd never thought apparently you could go as well. Just because you think they're only used on the water, well that's not the case. Sometimes you'll find ways to wind up using these things out on land as well. And then of course there's that favorite northern winter pastime and that is ice fishing. Now most people don't even think about taking their boats out when it's time to go ice fishing. They'll set up their own little shanties out on their lake and use those. But apparently the boat is acceptable as well. And just think of all that money you'll save on winterizing your boat if you continue to use it through the winter as you go out there and fish. But hopefully you use a little caution and don't get your vessel stuck like this guy did. And one other huge advantage of boating in the winter, well, there's not going to be anybody at the boat ramp. That's right, you're going to have that launch ramp all to yourself, making launching and retrieving your vessel just that much easier. Now winter is not the only time we're going to find boats in strange places. For whatever reason, summertime's perfect for it as well. Roads, where we're going we don't need roads. Now, of course, when you really think about it, boats really are extremely versatile. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with boats. Sometimes they'll take you through some low and tight spots. Other times, they'll get you across spots that are high and dry. As with anything, though, it doesn't matter how versatile something is. It's always going to have its limitations and the things that it just can't quite do. Yes, unfortunately, we still have that one pesky problem on a boat, and that's going to be those bridges. If you're still too tall to clear the bridges, you're still going to find yourself in trouble just about every time you try and go through them. And then, of course, there's those absolutely incredible sailboats, one of the most versatile vessels there is. I mean, most of the time, they don't even need gas to get around. But as with anything, as we mentioned, these ones still have their limitations as well. Oh, what are these guys doing? Oh, Just leave them. Holy. Hey! Oh. And my guy here is absolutely correct. Sail over power, but unfortunately, these guys are not under power. And they have lines in the water. According to the rules of the road, these fishermen actually have the right of way. Oh. You can understand that language? You. Go f yourself, you f <laughs> <laughs> and then the sailor tells them to turn their motor on and do something, recognizing that this vessel has lines out and isn't under power, but yet still complains about having the right of way. Speaking of having lines out, you always got to be cautious about what you attach your lines to, because if you attach them to the wrong item, well, you may find out that the versatility of your vessel is limited as well. And of course, no matter what you decide to do with your boat, if you decide you're going to pick up a boat and the only thing you plan to do with that vessel is take your family out to the sandbar and have some nice days, or maybe you just bought a vessel for fun so you can get out on the water and have a good time, take some friends and family out, and enjoy some quality time together doing water sports out on your favorite local waterway. Or maybe you decided to buy that vessel so you can take it out there and go ice fishing because you were done using the shanty anyway. Whatever it is, make sure to understand the limits of your vessel and go out there and do it cautiously and have a good time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Amber Battlegear, Austin Schroeder, Ryan Queen, Tracy Thomas, Sean Barnett, Mike Kilmer, Sean Talbot, Blindhog25, Kelly Flanagan, Katie Chris, Kate Caught Offshore, Tom Tyler, Miko, Harshe, Sean Morgan, and Nye Vision did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.